join me. Let's do some art. Now what I have here today is a kerosene lantern. It's a bit banged up, a bit dusty, but I bought it for just a dollar at a garage sale. And actually it has all the parts and would work, but I don't want to use the wig, so I will remove that part. I also took out the glass and thankfully didn't break it. So here you can get a closer look and for starters I will just clean it up and give it an initial coat of black spray paint. And here I use some glass cleaner just to get the dust off and clean up the glass, although I will age it later on. And next I pulled out some dry branches which I keep handy and I break off a few pieces and that's of course part of our art challenge for this month. A big thank you already to all of you who played along in the challenge. Like always, when I'm done with my project, there will be the lineup of all of your great ideas. At the end of my video, I will give you the new art challenge for the month of November. So please stay tuned. So I found this big spider just in the dollar store and I will give him a little makeover to make him look a little better. I also will age this glass and for that I use some alcohol inks. So I want to create a Halloween type decoration piece uh, but not too scary so it can basically hang up all year round. Here I have a tiny metal bird cage and I will take it apart so I can take the little bird out and then it will also get some black gesso. Here I decorate the spider a bit more with my acrylic paints and I actually added some uh, half moons because again that was part of the challenge and at this point I wasn't sure if I was going to add any other moon shape element. So I thought I better get it done right away. Well, I think I'll let you listen to some music. Today's project is not as detailed as I sometimes work. It will be easy for you to follow. And like always, you will find anything you need to know in the captions. And I will be back chatting with you in just a wee bit. Enjoy.
So here is my lantern all done and I took it apart so I can show you the individual components. I will add this little Halloween tea light. It has a nice amber glow, a nice color and it fits perfectly into that little open circle that I had to enlarge earlier and it will take the place of the wick that used to be there. Here is my glass of course. I did change the face of the spider a bit so now you just see the pair of eyes. Um, you can see him from the front from the back with the broken branches and it easily goes into position the way it's supposed to. And here's a good look from the front. As you can see, the light is not very bright, but quite enough for this type of arrangement. And here, of course, is my skeleton. He's only glued down by the feet. The wire keeps him secure, but he can still move his arms, his torso, and his head. And of course, he has a little birdcage with the two baby spiders. And yes, he's a good guy. He's bringing those spiders back to mama. For the rest of the lantern, I used mostly pieces that give me a nice texture and are related a little bit to nighttime. So there's a clock, there's an owl, there's a moon, there's a cat and so on. For the same reason, I also created this very grungy, rusty finish without any shine. Now I do have a little surprise element for you. Here in the front is a lid to the tank and someone is living in here looking at you. Now I think this is more funny than scary. So those were all the little bits of my project and I hope you like it. Now it's of course time to show the lineup of all the ideas that you had for this challenge. So please take your time, check out all the details and I will be back with you right after. So as you could see, we had a great lineup and of course a big thank you to all of your artists who played along. It was fun to see all of your creations with a little bit of scary just here and there. So that brings me to the November challenge and I of course hope that all of you will play along again. If you are new to the challenges, please just go below in my description box. There you will find a link to my intro video and that will give you all the information information you need to play along. It's very simple. So November, it looks like this will be our last big challenge for the year. As you remember from years past, in December I will still do a lineup but with some very uh, simple entries because I know everybody gets really busy during this season. So for November I have this idea that we would make over, reinvent, redo something and this could work two or three dimensional. Let me give you some examples. Maybe you have a painting you did and you don't care for. Maybe it's somebody else's painting. You can pick up uh, unique paintings in dollar stores 
or at the thrift store and you could redo them. Now of course if you redo it the idea is that we will still get a glimpse of the original but you can create something completely new by adding paint, maybe collaging over it, you can even turn it into a relief, what Ever you like. So that would be a two-dimensional uh, idea. Now it is not enough to take your canvas and just cover it all in white gesso and start fresh. That would be more of a recycling thing in a way of remodeling, uh, redoing, uh, makeover, reinventing. You would still need to leave some of the old image. Now if you work three-dimensional you have lots more option and it's also easier to retain the original because the shape most likely won't change all that much. So I have an old-fashioned alarm clock, I have a waltz scone here, I have a little instrument, a ukulele and you remember that I did many assemblages where I make over something that already had a purpose like well I did a clock before, I just did a lantern, I did a card shuffler, I did a coffee grinder and those kind of things. The kitchen is full of fun things you can use to make some completely new and be a little inventive. Yes we can make over a box and we can make over a book but it would be nice to have something that has a more interesting shape. So here you can of course add things to it, it could become something completely new where the function changes or you could just redecorate it, repaint it. How far you go with these kind of projects it's really up to you. So that's part one. For part two we will add something that either flies or represents flight. So it could be a collage piece uh, like this airplane or this blimp. I have some napkins here with a rooster and a dragonfly. You can absolutely paint it, draw it, cut it out from uh, whatever you might have handy to find a suitable image. But it can also be three-dimensional things, even a feather would work, some wings, these are angel wings, uh, a bird of course. I have some jewelry here, there's an owl, there's a butterfly, I have a ring, just a single wing, there is a dragon with wings, there's a big fly, there's a, um, a witch on the broom, she flies and some tiny little kitty things, there are bats, there's a small fly, there's a ghost. So let your imagination fly and you can add one piece or several pieces, large or small, as you like. Oops, so that's part two. For part three we will add triangles. Again they can be large or small, it could be more in the background, it could become a frame, whatever you like to uh, do. Here is a stencil with little triangles. I have this one too that has different size triangles. Um, even this little thing here has uh, some different triangles. There are these decorative corners, there's a piece of jewelry. I have this kids a wooden block which could be added the way it is or it could be just used to trace a triangle but of course you make your own triangles out of cardboard. It's pretty simple and any size, any type of triangle will work. And again it could be many or one, small or large as you like. So that would be part number three and part number four really has to do with the photos because I will need two photos of you, a before and an after. I think that will really enhance our viewing experience to see where you came from and where you ended up. So please take a photo before you get started uh, showing the piece you're working on, be it an old canvas or something from the kitchen that you're planning to change, whatever it may be. And then of course take one when you're all done. Now if you forget to take the before picture, which happened many times to me, take it as soon as you remember. Even if you've already done a couple little things, uh, just take a photo as early in your process as you can, preferably 
before you get started. So that is our project for November. I'm excited about it. There are so many possibilities and I'm sure you will come up with something um, that will fulfill all these little four core elements. So please remodel, reinvent, uh, refashion something, two or three dimensional. Please add something that either flies or represents flight. Number three, add some triangles. And for number four, the important part, send in two photos, one before, one after. So this is our project for November. Please send the photos to my email before the end of the month. All these parts are listed one more time at the end of the video and below. Thank you so very much for coming today. I hope you enjoyed all the projects, you enjoyed my Halloween lantern and that you will be back really soon. I will post as soon as my next project is done. Until then, stay creative, stay well and bye bye for now.